Hello and welcome to another video tutorial about working with the simulation workbench. In this tutorial, I am going to show how to run collision-based simulations. After running the SimLab Composer, let's switch to the simulation workbench. Double-click or drag and drop dominoes from the model's library into the 3D area. All the solids of this simple model are basic shapes. The links tab shows the force that will push the first domino in the queue. This will affect the behavior of this solid by applying the external force on it by the specified magnitude and direction. Before running a collision-based simulation, first of all, make sure that collision is enabled for all concerned solids. As an option, you can enable collision for all solids by toggling the Enable All button on the Collision toolbar. Secondly, open the Parameters dialog box to uncheck the option Use SimLib Advanced Collision System. Optionally, you can change the solver to what suits your model. The available solvers that SimLib provides are Projected SSOR, Projected MINRES, and DEM penalty based. The default solver is Projected SSOR. Because the solids of our model are basic shapes, uncheck the option Use SimLib Advanced Collision System. Click OK. Now the simulation is ready for running. Run the simulation to demonstrate the behavior of the current model. The second model will be a collision-based model between two gears. Double-click or drag and drop lobe pump from the model's library into the 3D area. This model consists of more complex shapes so-called triangle meshes. In order to work properly, this model requires enabling collision for both gears, and making sure that the, the option use SimLib Advanced Collision System is checked. Enable collision of the first solid from its properties panel. Enable collision of the second solid from its properties panel. Open the Parameters dialog box. Make sure that the option Use SimLib Advanced Collision System is checked. Click OK. Now the simulation is ready for running. Run the simulation to demonstrate the behavior of the current model. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video.